Hi guys, my name is Debbie and I'm an intuitive reader and I'm here today to give you your daily general message for Wednesday, May 26, 2021. Please keep in mind that this is a general reading, so if you are interested in your own private one, all the information is down below in the description box below. Also, we are going live tonight around 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to answer your love questions. Uh, if you do have questions, please keep in mind I don't answer questions in regards to either law or medical uh, as well. But I hope to hear from you. Hope to see you. Uh, if you have any questions, just email me at debdoesreadings at gmail.com. Uh, list your questions. I will then send you the appropriate $5 uh, each um, request for the question answered here for tonight. We'll put you on the list. We do go live for approximately three hours. We roll with it for two. We wrap it up. We, we stop the questions and we wrap it up the rest of them for the past hour. So that's the deal. All right. Hope to see you there. If you're interested, just email me. Let's get cracking here. Ten card spread. Whomever this is meant for. Five above, five below. I did clarify the last card as well as an outcome. And two clarifiers. Let's get cracking. Definite connection between two people here with the Six of Cups, okay? There is a kind of soulmate relationship going on. That Two of Cups does represent, to me anyway, a soulmate relationship. Sun card is a major arcana. It's known as the Yes card. Somebody definitely wants to improve things, definitely wants to justify the situation. I just heard from their actions, whether they ghosted you or what. But I feel that they want to make things right. The Justice card does represent the sign of Libra as well, so you could be or they could be, but regardless, it's about making things right again, and that's just confirmed with the Yes card of the Sun. Definitely a lot of heartbreak here that did take place with the Three of Swords as well. This is definite divine energy with the two aces, Ace of Wands, Ace of Swords here. They want to take that action. They want a new start. That action is to make things right again. This is going to confuse somebody fiercely. Uh, to hear from them, I feel definite ghosting going on in the past, but I feel this is all going to turn around. Whomever this is meant for, the Page of Swords is that communication. It's speaking the truth. It's having the clarity, but I really feel clean up the confusion as well, they're saying. But I do feel from hearing from them, it is going to shock you. The Seven of Cups is known for that confusion. It's also known for that option. Why are you coming back? Why are you talking to me again? After quite an ordeal of waiting for things to be worked on here with the justice right above it, two major kind of huge message in itself. They got something to say. and They want a new start of that communication because they do love you. With the King of Cups here, it does represent water, but the King of Cups is known for kind of like a uh, kind of step back and kind of hard to open up. You take that sword, they're ready to communicate. They're ready to open up now because what that dude is turned looking at, Major Kana of the chariot here. So looking at this movement in regards to opening up as well as showing the action, I feel that they have been definitely guided by spirit because that King of Cups, regardless if your dude or dudette is is water sign here. It is literally surrounded by spirit with the two aces around his energy. So let's take the five above, five below energy, all right? And then we'll do the outcome. Definitely a strong con connection. I feel that somebody is making that option in regards to somebody whom they already know and love is what that tells me. Hearing from them is definitely coming in with the sun, with the page of swords that's yes there is going to be this communication as well as yes it's going to be a shock to the system to hear from them after quite an ordeal of waiting stagnation no movement whatsoever in regards to communication i feel that that's moving forward to calm the mind to heal the mind thank you adding those three with the ace of swords that's the four of swords there that's to heal the situation they thought about things. They can't stop thinking about you. They want this uh, connection back. They want to make things right again with that justice to calm the mind of the person whom they hurt is what that says. The truth of how they truly feel here, the heartbreak, the regret of not opening up sooner also is in play here. There's definite action in regards to expressing how they feel. Definitely opening up now with him. 
looking over at that chariot. So definite movement I feel, and here's the outcome. This has been a slow process. You take that five, fives are known for change. The five of pentacles is slowly but surely moving towards their empress here. Yet again, strong connection I feel. Empress does represent Taurus and Libra, as well as the Fool here does represent Aries, okay? So definitely doesn't have to be the sign. It's really, I go by the energy of it all. But basically moving forward, you see how dark it is, but there's a little, little ray of sunshine there with that yellow. Things are slowly but surely changing here. Walking towards their Empress is what that says. And this Empress is heading towards a new start, a new beginning. Somebody also feels like a fool for hurting you, for treating you the way that they treated you, I feel. Sometimes, not always, I do pick that up, that the person does feel like an actual fool with the fool card there. But regardless, I do feel that they're on to bigger and better things. Lots of sun, lots of yellow here. Even the chariot, he's looking for improvement. That chariot has that yellow behind him or behind the chariot there. So yes, I do feel that this dude, dudette, which whatever applies, it is general here. He does love you and he does want this, or she wants this movement again, back into their life again with you. And I feel that they are slowly but surely, I feel that they are changing and heading right towards you for this new start. And that's what I have for whomever this is meant for. Yet again, if you are interested in joining us live, I hope to see you there. If you have any questions ahead of time, it is best to prepay to pre-get yourself on the list, as always, because it does add up. It adds up quickly uh, in regards to the amount of people, and I try to go through them as fast as possible, but I am a Libra. <laughs> My daughter's always yelling at me, Mom, you talk too much. So definitely try to be there uh, with your questions ready. Or if you want to uh, pre-get your questions out there ahead of time, that's even better. We'll definitely put you on the list. Hope to see you guys there. Thanks for um, supporting my channel. Have a great, great day, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.